up a little bit later. Oh, there she is! Oh, no, I'm trying to figure really... out the lighting in this room. It's not the best, so I apologize for that. That's okay. Is that your piece? It is my piece, yes. Awesome. I like the it in the back, so. I love it. <laughs> yes, thank you. That's great. Yeah, congratulations again. Thank you so much. I'm very wonderful. honored. <laughs> yeah, it's wonderful. So I thought we'd get together today and just talk about what motivated Steffi for you to dedicate this piece to Yeah Rocks and how it affected Yeah Rocks and what's going on and the, you know going forward and how you guys are working together and that type of thing. So who wants to kick it off? <laughs> Uh, I'll start, I, okay. I guess. Um, so this piece um, definitely was inspired by some of my personal experiences uh, just as a musician, actually, and growing up playing music as a child, as a teenager, and later in my adult years. And um, I came across this contest mm -hmm. online. Um, I've just always been a big supporter of social enterprises. Mm -hmm. And I'm also a member of the Social Enterprise um, Alliance. And so I think that's how yeah. I came to hear about your organization. Hi. Yes. And so uh, when I found this contest, I felt that this was something that I could do. Um, I've never really considered myself a, a visual artist, actually. Uh, when I was a kid, I, I did enjoy drawing and doing arts and crafts. I always thought um, it was a lot of fun as a kid, and I would go to workshops and just watch a bunch of craft shows as a child. Um, but, you know, I kind of just uh, kind of put it to the side um, when I got older, and um, there were a few artists that really inspired me to do a, a mixed media art collage piece and so um, when I came across your contest I figured that would be something that I could do and uh, I just kind of went for it <laughs> <You're dead. laughs> and I think that's um, some of the most I guess I would say exciting times in my life is when I just kind of went for it and so um, I decided to enter in the contest and I've uh, been associated with the Yeah organization for a couple years now and have volunteered with them as an instructor and as a band manager and oh, uh, just had a great experience with them and just I believe in uh, their mission and what they do mm -hmm. with the youth in the Nashville area and I've just seen all the great transformation that's happened with the youth who have gone through their programs and um, just such a positive influence that they have and so I wanted to be able to give back to them as well through this contest. That's fantastic. I love it. Oh. Yeah, I want to, I would like to, if, if I'd like to speak to sure. uh, how you said you just, all the, the best times of your life is when you just go for it. I think that really um, goes hand in hand with our mission. And, and our mission is to use music education to empower youth. Uh, and we have programs for ages five to people over a hundred. So we have a ladies rock camp for grown ups. So we don't just work with youth. But we have um, primarily our programs are with youth. And I think one of the things that really drives what we do is the idea that you don't have to be an expert at something before you start. Mm -hmm. I think that so, so much of the time, especially in um, the world that has so much social media and so much instant gratification and presenting yourself, mm -hmm. people of all ages, but especially teenagers are really scared to take up space and make a mistake in, in public, right? And so when you're making music with other people, you can't help but make a mistake, especially when you're learning. Exactly. And so that's a huge bedrock of what we do is destroy the idea that you have to be perfect before you start. And that's so I think- beautiful. It's real. It's powerful for me, it like as a person in the world. I'm so inspired by all the youth that are just like, go for it. Uh -huh. And when you said that, that really spoke to me because I feel like you didn't you weren't like well i'm not a full-time like collage artist or like visual artist maybe i don't need to do you were like i'm gonna go for it mm -hmm. and like look what happened you know yeah. it's really amazing that's so beautiful i think that's at the heart of what creativity gives to people is the idea that they can just go for it and they can like find out along the way and that they that they're their own best teacher exactly i love that how has um i'm sure COVID. 19 has affected your organization quite dramatically 
Can you tell me a little bit about how you've been able to work around that or yeah. work with it? Totally. So we, um, in March, we launched uh, like a workshop series for our youth through Instagram and have been able to interact with them on that platform. Um, and then we had a virtual summer camp this year instead of in person. Um, this is our 18th year of programming. So we've been around a long time since 2003. I've only been with the org for eight years, um, but it's been around a long time and there's a lot of uh, institutional uh, like a lot of folks that have been part of it for a really long time. One in five of our volunteers was a past camper at this point. So it's got a real family, family vibe, <laughs> you know? Um, so we had a lot of people that wanted to support what we were doing, even though it was virtual. So summer camp was really amazing. Um, and usually we serve around 300 kids during the summer specifically within a two-week period mm -hmm. and we were we were able to serve around a little over a hundred this year mm -hmm. um, just due to access and we didn't have the funding to get everybody their own iPads and that was kind of before school kids had their school computers mm -hmm. um, so we saw a little bit of a dip in engagement just because so many of our kids do come on scholarship and a lot of them didn't have access to the equipment and we couldn't really quite um, provide that for a lot of folks but we have figured out a way to uh, we're going to be partnering with some organizations next year to hopefully get some of that technology issue out of the way while we wait for the vaccine to kick in yeah. um, but one big part that i'm really excited about is that we have empowered one of our junior counselors to take over our social media so there's an internship that's just started um, with a junior counselor named Bridget Davis, and she's 15. And she is in charge of our Instagram and our social media presence now, like with, wow. with me, a coach. But I think it's really cool because one of the big things that we do is we want to always have youth voices louder than the adult voices. Right. One thing we say is we set things up and then we get out of the way because mm -hmm. the real magic happens when they, they like young people talk to each other and work together. Oh, right. So I am really excited about this new development um, and I want to have always have a social media intern that's um, a young person. So that's a great kind of, idea. Kind of fun. I, I wanted to give her, she's homeschooled mm -hmm. and she's one of our longtime campers and I wanted to give her kind of an opportunity to plug in and have some responsibility mm -hmm. in this complicated time and she's um, really thrown herself into it. So it's cool. Oh. That's just one thing. Um, we're going to be lunch. We've been doing a protest songwriting class in partnership with an organization in Philadelphia called Mighty Writers. Oh, that's and great. That's really cool. So one of our um, teaching artists, Kashana, helps uh, guide a group of youth virtually through a songwriting process. And they're about to release their song um, after this 10 week class. It's so good. It's called Changes and it's about like navigating changes. It's really sweet. I love that. It's really sweet. So yeah, we, we've been, you know, as busy as ever. It's all been virtual and we've had to pivot really quickly to be able to serve kids because um, you know, I've been surveying kids after they do virtual programming with us and say like, how was it? What can we improve? And a couple of kids said like, this has been a lifeline for me. Like this has been really, really important for me to be able to have just like every week. I know I log in and see the same faces and like, I look forward to it all week. And so in 2021, like we want to be able to have that ability to, um, and we're gonna just kind of keep doing more of the same. And, and I wanna survey all the kids and see what they wanna do next. A couple of kids said they were interested in a podcasting class, which I think would be pretty cool. Yeah. Um, and maybe a, like a DJing, beginner, beginner DJs class with laptops for kids that have laptops. Um, mm -hmm. so yeah, we've, we've always got some coming down the pipe, but. Um, right. Yeah. So you're in Nashville. How does the music industry, do they support you? Or do you find a lot of support from the music industry living and being in Nashville? Yeah, we have some grants from the Country Music Association. Um, we've had some grant funding from Spotify in the past. Um, and then, you know, we, we have a lot of grant and foundation funding that keep us going. So we are funded by Metro Arts Commission, the Tennessee Arts Commission, and then um, yeah, just personal donations. A lot of our, our funding is 
people that donate $20 or less a month. Mm -hmm. So we have a lot of small donations that keep us rolling. Mm -hmm. That's great. So are you guys working together on anything else? Well, so Steffi has been an incredible uh, volunteer with us for mm -hmm. like two, three years. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a couple of years. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and is such a good teacher, such a patient, hilarious. I bet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, good. Kids mm -hmm. love you. Mm -hmm. I'll never forget that picture of you. You got like a trucker hat on and you're like, you have like a whole, you have a huge drum kit around you. And there's like, <laughs> I love that picture. Um, yeah. So we're not going to be having any drum classes for the foreseeable future, just because the lag for virtual mm -hmm. teaching it's is tough. really hard. Have yeah. you been doing any drum stuff online? Um, they've been more one-on-one -on -one, um, and not a lot of, I've done one master class. Um, and but that was largely me in uh, showing and everyone else muted for the most yeah. part yeah so yeah it is a little difficult in group situations and i'm yeah. not sure if if uh the technology exists for that yet but yeah. hopefully soon that'll yeah. be great. come on come on come on yeah <laughs> uh -huh. Definitely. Well, I really appreciate you ladies coming on and talking about your organization and what you guys have been up to. And is there any way that, is there anything that Art for Your Cause can help you with? Um, I'm, I'm looking forward to get that pa getting that packet. I'll, I'll definitely review yeah. everything and, and okay. update our profile and stuff. Okay. Sounds good. That's really exciting. Fantastic. Well, thank you. I appreciate your time. Yeah, it was so nice to meet you. It was really nice good to, to see meet you. you. Yes, you take care. You too. Bye. Bye, y'all. Bye.